So where did people first get the idea of an ultimate evil being? Three and a half thousand years ago, in ancient Persia, where Syria, Iraq and Iran are now, there were many gods, good and evil. Until one man, a religious teacher called Zoroaster, reduced the whole complicated cast of characters to two. Zoroaster is a revolutionary, primarily because he, in one sense, personifies these ethical categories into a good god, Ahura Mazda, and a bad god, Ahriman. And this is an extremely potent idea and one which forms the basis for later conceptions of dualistic thought. In other words, the separation between good and evil. The good god is the all-knowing Ahura Mazda, the god of light and order. The evil god is Ahriman, god of chaos, darkness and lies. In Zoroaster's teachings, the universe is a battlefield between the gods of good and evil, and every person on earth must take sides. After death, good people are rewarded in heaven, while the sinners are punished in a dark and gloomy hell. It is one of those ultimate, rather attractive kinds of dualism, uh, that this life is a struggle between good and evil, therefore choose good, between light and darkness, therefore choose light. Under the powerful Persian emperor Darius the Great, the teachings of Zoroaster become the official religion of the Persian Empire, an empire which includes the lands of Israel. The new Persian ideas about good and evil soon find their way into the Jewish scriptures. So we get a clear demarcation of what we would call Jewish ideas, okay, and we can spot the Zoroastrian ideas in the Old Testament. They are there, notions of heaven and hell. Okay? The beginning of actually seeing the devil personified as the fierce opponent of God. Again, you're looking at Zoroaster. And when Zoroaster was not good enough, they updated and brought Mohammed. See, y'all don't understand that. It's the concept. The worship of a white man. Ain't none of them existed. Zoroaster, Zeus, Jesus, Zoroaster is the concept. They're going to keep coming up with a white man for you to worship. Peace, Simon God. Thomas. Peace, God. Farad Muhammad. Huh? Uh, Joseph Smith. The damn, what is he? The Mormons? Another peck of wood. It's the concept. None of them exist. And so, you can see right here. I'm going to get off into that kebab. I'm going to get off into that Kabbalah. That's a Kabbalah. And this is Zoroaster. That's all. That's what Dr. Ben said. They was worshiping before they even messed with the Torah. They was into that Kabbalah. They was into that Kabbalah. That shit ain't no more Jewish witchcraft. And don't mess with it. As the Persian Empire in turn is defeated by Alexander the Great, Greek culture comes to ancient Israel. The Greeks introduce a huge cast of gods and goddesses, including one who will shape our image of Satan for centuries. When the chimes end, pick up your gun. Hades has a black face or black beard. He sits on a throne. Because they're going to come one day, there's going to be enough immigrants in here, they ain't going to need you, nigga. And that's what has happened. Niggas running around out here got PhD and they can't even get a job at Burger King. Nigga, they don't need you. They got Mexicans that are going there working for two dollars. And you don't understand that they flooding in here every day. It's coming across the damn West Coast so fast, it's gonna be it's gonna be to the Midwest over in the next two, three years. The East Coast. You understand what I'm saying? They murdering our people all over this damn country. There's a war going on between blacks and Mexicans. So you can come up off of that black and brown power bullshit. It's about black power or it ain't about nothing. Because you're going to fail in everything else. And which means we are African people. We must be trying to uplift Africa. Because if we don't uplift Africa, God damn it, that's the root. We are dead anywhere else. You don't water the damn branch. You water the root. 
You want to run. Don't water the brain. We are dying over here in this land. We are devolving as African people. The more you stay up under this crap, the more he de devolves your ass from your, your original state. When we came over here, we was jumping off the damn slave boats, diving in the water, rather be eaten by sharks. You understand? As soon as we got a chance, we was fleeing. And on every plantation, we was planning an, an escape. What happened? What made us stop escaping? That's what we gotta ask ourselves. We feel comfortable, because a nigga can eat a, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich at 12 o'clock at night. He can go in there in the refrigerator, get him a cold glass of Kool-Aid. That's making it? Because a nigga can make Kool-Aid? Eat some goddamn Focus Hope cheese? $15, we talking about we king. I ain't never seen a goddamn king work for an hourly wage. Yeah. A king, the only